Once, in the heart of a bustling town encircled by towering mountains, there dwelled an esteemed monk renowned for his profound wisdom and unwavering tranquility. Master Koji was a beacon of serenity in a world often clouded by chaos. One crisp morning, a troubled young villager named Hiro sought solace in the presence of Master Koji. Burdened by the weight of negativity that seemed to cloak his every thought, Hiro longed for guidance to navigate the tumultuous storms within. Approaching the venerable monk with a heavy heart, Hiro bowed respectfully and shared his inner turmoil. Master Koji, Hiro began, my mind is entangled in a web of negativity. I yearn for peace, yet I cannot seem to find it amidst the chaos within. With a gentle smile and eyes that held the wisdom of ages, Master Koji extended a hand, inviting Hiro to join him in the serenity of the village's tranquil garden. A tranquil pond adorned with blooming lotus flowers shimmered under the morning sun. Seated by the water's edge, the master plucked a single lotus flower, its delicate petals unfurling gracefully in his weathered hands. Handing the lotus to Hiro, Master Koji spoke in his soothing, measured tone. Observe this lotus, young one, he said softly. It blossoms amidst the muddy waters, yet remains unsullied by the dirt surrounding it. So too can you find peace amidst the chaos of life by learning to release that which burdens your soul. Intrigued, Hiro looked to the lotus, its ethereal beauty standing in stark contrast to the murky waters from which it arose. In your quest for inner peace, Master Koji began, there are eleven facets of life to relinquish, much like shedding burdensome layers from a weary traveler's backpack. Firstly, let go of anger, the master advised for it is a flame that burns the vessel that holds it. Secondly, release the chains of resentment, he continued. It binds you to the past, preventing your spirit from soaring. Thirdly, let go of jealousy, Master Koji gently suggested, for it blinds you to the blessings that already reside within your grasp. Fourth, relinquish the illusion of control, he added. Life flows most freely when allowed to dance with its own rhythm. Release judgment, he advised as the count continued, for acceptance is the key that unlocks the door to understanding. Let go of fear, the wise monk said with assurance. It shackles the spirit and prevents the blooming of potential. Detach from all that binds you, Master Koji continued, his voice carrying the weight of experience, for attachment to transient things breeds suffering. Seventhly, release expectations, he advised for they often veil the beauty of the present moment. Let go of the heavy burden of guilt, the master said, his voice soft yet resolute. Forgive yourself, for we are all travelers stumbling on this path of life. Release the chains of negative self-talk, he advised. Replace it with the gentle whispers of self-compassion and kindness. And lastly, Master Koji concluded, let go of the pursuit of perfection, Embrace your flaws, for they make you beautifully human. Hiro listened intently, feeling each word reverberate within his soul. He embarked on the journey of introspection and self-discovery, weaving the master's teachings into the fabric of his daily existence. Days turned to months, and months turned to seasons. Hiro, dedicated to his practice, found himself shedding layers of negativity like a serpent shedding its old skin. The burdens that once weighed heavily upon him began to dissipate, replaced by a lightness of being and an unwavering sense of peace. He shared Master Koji's teachings with fellow villagers, guiding them on their own journeys toward inner harmony. And as time flowed like the gentle currents of the village stream, the lotus pond remained a symbol, a testament to the truth that amidst life's trials and tribulations, one could always find serenity.